So today we have a very special video for you. We're going to do a comparison between the Steel GTA 26 and the Milwaukee M12 hatchet. Here's the Milwaukee. Six inch bar. Oiler. And then I bought some extra batteries. This is the uh, Red Lithium 3.0. Then here is the Steel GTA 26. So, side-by-side -side comparison, the Milwaukee is obviously bigger than the steel. Okay, that's pretty much a given from just this video right here, what you can see. But there's some cool features that's different between the two of them. Um, steel, you actually have to, you actually have to oil this in between uses. They send you a little oiler and you oil the chain on the top and it basically you're the oiler it doesn't have an automatic oiler it has a quick release cap that releases this so that way you can adjust the tension it's got a uh, LED lights tell you how much the battery is as far as power goes safety so you push this thing down if you don't push it down it doesn't move it's also ambidextrous so, interesting concept here as far as where they put that and how they did it. Um, and then we have the Milwaukee here, which this feature I'll tell you right now is the whip. The fact that it has an oiler on it. You don't have to worry about it. You just have to make sure the reservoir is full. Um, but the Milwaukee safety feature on the side here, this little button, you can push it either way. So it is ambidextrous either way. Um, what else can I say about these other than which one I would pick and why? So I bought the steel originally a few days ago as far as this recording goes and I liked it until I put it on a commercial job. Now steel will tell you that this is not a commercial product this is for the homeowner to do some light pruning on their trees and things like that but as far as being a commercial i don't know i i cut vines and i limb trees every now and again and prune ornamentals and things like that and something like this would come into handy for sure but they've said it multiple times in their little uh instruction manual that it's not commercial the Milwaukee, I don't remember if I saw anything saying it's not for commercial use, but uh, I will say that while using this, the steel, I got probably nine to 10 minutes of runtime out of this battery. Now steel claims that you'll get, I think 80 cuts out of that battery, which, you know, that's, that's not bad for what it is, depending on what you want to do. The Milwaukee, I went and used it for quite some time. I didn't record the time, but I know I got well over 10 minutes of use of cutting out of this 3.0 red lithium battery. Um, you know, this one has a, a squench or scrunch or however you want to say it. So that way you can undo this here, adjust the tension, change the, the, the actual chainsaw blade, the bar, whatever. So, so after using both of these products, what I will say is that they're both good designs for what they were designed for. Uh, the steel one would be good for a homeowner that has to go cut up a couple branches here and there that fall on their property or do some very, very light trimming. Uh, charge time in between the batteries, you're talking, I think the steel's like 70 minutes or something like that. And I think the uh, Milwaukee over here is probably like, you know, 90 minutes or maybe a little less. But the big difference is that Milwaukee is a brand that has many other tools. And so their batteries are pretty much available at any Home Depot. So you can just walk in and buy more batteries if you need them. The steel, from what I've read, is that everybody on their website is complaining that they can't get extra batteries they love the tool it cuts fantastic but as far as the battery life goes they want more batteries and they can't get them they're back ordered so 
Uh, I think the batteries are about 40 bucks a piece, which is probably a little bit cheaper than the Milwaukee. But if you only get one battery, then you're kind of limited on what you can do. Whereas the Milwaukee, which I just bought yesterday as of the recording of this video, you know, I got as many batteries as I want because they also have drills and, and impacts and they're a, they're a battery company. So that's another beauty of this. So if you do buy Milwaukee tools, you can use this battery that's in this hatchet for all these other tools, which is super convenient versus the steel, you know, steel, they also made one of these. This is an older model. This is their little baby hedge trimmer, which is super awesome for like topiaries, if you know what that is. Those are the little uh, shrubs or trees that they make to, uh, what would it be called? They're like delineated. They're, they have their own, just look up topiary shrubs and you'll figure out what this is good for. But this is their older model and this battery doesn't fit this new steel GTA 26. And the battery of the GTA 26 doesn't fit into this. Now I've heard coming down the pipeline that they're going to make a new one of these and the batteries are gonna be universal. But you get you know two tools that use the same battery versus Milwaukee here. I think, yeah, this is the M12 line. With the M12, you could get all of these tools in the same batteries work. So if I had to tell you what one to pick, hands down, you know, if we take away this and we take away these, and we just have these tools, the Milwaukee wins, hands down. And why it wins is because it cuts better, it has an automatic oiler. To me, it's more comfortable, it's, it's just better. You can cut a little bit bigger surface. You know, this one right here, I'm not a big fan of this guard. I think this was a little silly to put on, but Steel thought it was a good idea. Um, but you know, as far as factors go as cutting, they both cut, they both do their job. But with a basic battery on this versus this battery, you get 10 minutes and I think you'll get 25 to 30 minutes, maybe even more off a of battery. But then we add in this factor. You can actually get batteries. You can get all those tools to go with this. You get this. And then if they decide to run out with their new hedge trimmer edition, you get this. So you get two tools for all the batteries that you buy. Um, if you ask me, Milwaukee hands down wins. And that's the truth. That's the truth from a guy that, that uses this stuff commercially, even though Steels isn't a commercial unit. But if I had to pick, if I had to tell you what one is better... I'm going to tell you, go with the one where you can buy batteries, where you can move the batteries to other tools. An auto oiler, so you don't have to stop and put oil on the chain. I mean, there's those factors alone are huge. You know, I really think that with, uh, you know, a few of these batteries, you'll honestly probably be good to do whatever you need to do all day long. You know, even if you have three, maybe four batteries of this, You'll be fine all day long to cut whatever you need to cut. Just rotate them out, charge them, have a sequential charger, something like that. Whereas this one, you know, that's what you get until steel can fix their supply chain of batteries because this one doesn't fit that one and this one doesn't fit this one. Not until they come out with it. But that's honest review. I'm a big steel guy. I have a lot of steel tools. I have their uh, gas hedge trimmer. I have their leaf blower. I have their atomizer, I have their combi system, I have a chainsaw from them. I have a lot of steel tools and I, I'm a big fan of steel. This is actually the first Milwaukee tool I've ever bought until when I bought that I said I might as well buy an impact and I might as well buy a drill because the batteries fit. Um, I wish steel would redesign this already. It's brand new but I, I would like them to come out with a commercial model It has an auto oiler that has the batteries to support it. Um, otherwise, honestly, they won't compete with the Milwaukee. Um, I haven't showed you any in the field results, but that's just from a guy that, that does this and uses stuff like this on the daily. I would hands down pick the Milwaukee, um, honest. So you be the judge. 
Would you rather have one tool that one battery fits into, potentially two tools that the same battery fits into, or would you rather have this awesome hatchet with an auto oiler that the batteries fit into, you know, uh, 50 to 100 tools? So I hope that helps you make the decision. Um, I kind of bought the steel on a, a whim. I said, I want to try this. I had had some vine work I wanted to go do, and I wanted to see how it did, and it cuts just fine. It just doesn't last. So again, I hope this helps you guys decide. Um, maybe we'll get some side-by-side -side footage of them cutting and compare battery to battery and what goes on with that. So hope you have a great day. Hope you found this useful, and stay tuned for more content. And also, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. What do you think? What's better? What do you want to tell Steel? What do you want to tell Milwaukee? What do you think? Have you guys tried these products? Are you intending on trying these products? Do you have a use for these products? Pretty much I'm going to use these products solely to cut small trees, small branches, and uh, vines on my commercial jobs. So hope you have a great day and take care.